Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Crystal and today is day one of Vlogmas. It's the 1st of December 2022 and it is my first attempt at doing Vlogmas, which essentially is vlogging throughout Advent um, in preparation for Christmas. And um, what I have decided to do is share with you my um, Advent calendar openings. I have bought three Advent calendars uh, this year or for this Advent. The first being the uh, Kylie in the Machines Advent calendar, which has been very very popular over the, I think this is the second time they've done it so it was very popular last year um, and then I've also got the Beyond the Pink Door Think Pink um, Advent Calendar by Andrea from Beyond the Pink Door and then I've also got the Fabric Godmother um, Advent Calendar so this is the first time Fabric Godmother have released theirs um, Beyond the Pink Door released theirs yes last year so this will be their year two and Kylie and the Machines I believe this is also year two for them on top of that, I will be going through just some general chit chat. Um, as it's day one of December, it will probably be my plan, sewing plans for the month of December. And hopefully um, I will be attempting to do 25 years, or 25 years, 25 days of quick daily vlogs, which will involve opening my advent calendars, sewing chit chat and a bit of life chit chat as well. Um, and my helper today is Sienna. I might interchange the kids uh, now and again, because for those of you that follow me, you'll know I do have eight children. So quite a few children to cover those 25 uh, days. Um, and what else was I going to say? For those of you that don't already subscribe and follow me, please do kindly like and subscribe if you are enjoying my content. And please have a look through my channel for all the other uh, videos that I do do. I do uh, unboxings for So Hayley Jane, Beyond the Pink Door, Little Miss So-and-So. I'm a blogger for Jenny Stitches and also a brand ambassador for Little Miss So-and-So. And there's lots of other lovely sort of sewing chit chat and goodness on my channel. So shall we start, Sienna, with the first um, first box? Which one should we go for? Okay. Um. Andrea, Beyond the Pink Door, um, their advent calendar. It's a lovely festive box there. Camper van, Merry Christmas. Lovely sticker. I've not opened it as yet. Um, and I believe this one was around 50 to 60 pounds for this one. And the box, <laughs> the box is lovely and shiny and glossy. And the inside is lovely and shiny and glossy. We wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Um, and a lovely card here as well. Happy holidays. Wishing you a December to remember from Andrea, Karis and Caroline. <clears throat> Beyond the pink door. Just to say as well, I forgot, um, which is quite important. So Advent, the meaning of Advent. Advent has derived from the Latin word... I think it's Adventus, which basically means arrival. And basically the whole premise of Advent is the preparation for the arrival of a notable person. Um, and for us Catholics, um, I'm a practicing Catholic, and um, that would be for the... Um, a right preparation for the arrival of the notable person which is uh, Jesus Christ the birth of Jesus on the 25th of December and so as practicing Catholics that is what uh, and who we are preparing for that is the event that we are preparing for during Advent um, and obviously these Advent calendars are <laughs> for the sewing community nothing to do with religion or anything so it's just a fun way to um, sort of get sewing goodies or sewing presents daily for 25 days it is a bit of a luxury actually I think I did go a bit overboard with getting three advent calendars for myself because um, I have lots of children to buy for Christmas but anyhow it's done now so that's a little card that you get with it pink tissue paper there <clears throat> oh and there you go lots of lovely oh. little parcels different um, no. um different numbers obviously for the days and they're different um wrappers now because i remember last year they were all pink and white polka dots but now you've got the orange polka dots really nice. the orange stripe and sort These of like really a nice. white and star um star packages She's paper like so we have to wait uh, look for number nine number nine number one, one. see how should we help they're not you have to root through them one Okay, are you sure? Number yes. one? Should we try and guess what it is? I know what it is. Guess what it is. So basically these boxes are full of sewing haberdashery, uh, sewing treats, that sort of thing. Um, do you know what it is? I think they're needles, but uh, you never know. I think it's needles. So shall we open it? Number one for Beyond the Pink Door. Am I recording? Hopefully I am. Oh, they're not. They felt like needles, 
but they are Little Rosy Cheeks sewing so labels. Um, I have bought labels from Little Rosy Cheeks before, and these and the reason why they felt like needles is because the edge, the um, edges of the of the um, labels there were quite chunky, and I kind of felt them as being little sort of metal needles. But I was wrong. Let's have a look at these. I think this is they're part of their new collection. So it's a lovely, oh, it matches actually. It's a lovely pink and red um, leopard print background with the word gorgeous on it. And actually that matches very well with the um, Beyond the Pink Door, their new um, subscription box boxes, exactly the same. <laughs> so there you go. So that's very lovely. Thank you very much. It's a nice first um, first um, uh, treat from that from them. How many do you get? Should we find out how many we get? How many did we get, Sienna? Wow, there's quite a lot in here. Two, four, six of those. So that's going in my tin. Can we get my tin up, my love? I have the Kylie and the Machine sewing label tin. Still in its <laughs> little sleeve. I just keep it that way. So I think these tins are available available to buy. I think they're about nine pounds. Um, quite a lot of different labels in there already. So I add that to my collection. And uh, so that's um, box number one. Advent box number one, day number one. Bye bye, my love. See you again tomorrow. I shouldn't really say my love because I call my children my love. And they'll think I'm weird for calling a box my love. Thank you, helper. And box number two, shall we go for Kylie and the Machine? So, advent calendar number two, day one. Sienna, do you want to do this one? Or? So you get two labels a day for 24 days, um, 48 polyester woven labels. I know last year they had three labels and two iron-on patches, um, so I'm not sure how it's different. or I'm not sure how the price has changed, um, but Kylie and the Machine's very popular for her labels. And it basically has a little ribbon here. And you open it. There you go. So it's beautiful and lovely. To be fair, when this arrived, I opened it straight away because I didn't know what it was. I wasn't expecting it to be this small. Although, to be fair, labels are small. So I suppose that's why the packaging is... I'm um, sorry, my nails aren't very nicely done. But there you go. Right, Sienna, do you want to find number one? I thought that was number one. But it, it no, it's number four. Oh, that? That, that is number one. That? Number one, that's number one, isn't it? Are you doing number one? Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> so day number one is this one here, these pair of scissors. And you just put well, I'm gonna put my finger through it. Ooh. And it has like a sort of their paper like a paper thing. I'm just gonna rip through. Mm. And you get two labels. It's like a purple, like a lilac-y purple background. This took way too long in pink. So you get two labels. And then it's got the Kylie and the Machines um, logo at the back there. So that's very nice. It's going to add to my other, um, uh, to my <laughs> Kylie and the Machines tin. So that's um, box number two, day one. I'll lose track of this at some point. Thank you, helper. And then the exciting one, Fabric Godmother. Mm. So, ta-da! And I don't know if you noticed, these ladies are actually dressed in dresses made with their um, original Fabric Godmother original prints. I have this. This is the Joni. Can you see? Which one have you got? Actually, that's the only one I do have. Which one do you have? This is the Joni, floral Joni, that one. Yeah, don't I? It's here oh, it's next to me. Oh, there you go. It's right next to me here. Joni fabric. And this oh. is in their viscose, not the viscose lawn. They had viscose lawn and viscose. What would a softer viscose be? Viscose lawn and viscose nice. chalet. I don't think it's a chalet, but um, there you go. It's the same as what that lady is wearing there at the bottom. And then at the back, um, it's quite nice. Once you've finished with the advent calendar, you can actually have, you know, back in the day when you were little, you had these paper dolls and you have these dresses with the little tabs that you can hook on. So I guess the girls might want to use that. Right, box number one. I mean, day number one, I found it. Day number one is over here. The boxes are, the um, holes are quite big. 
so they're all they're all the same size holes they're about i'd say two inches by two and a half inches right should we open this one are you sure that's number one yes, yes. And it says, oh, there's something that says, place your pins perpendicular to your seams so you rec you can remove them easily while sewing. So every time you open a, um, a box, you get a little sewing tip, which is quite good. So I do do it the other way. I do it, um, I don't do it, per I do do it perpendicular sometimes, but sometimes I do it the other way, depending really on what, what I'm working with. And so there's a little gift in there wrapped in pink tissue paper. Oh, it's quite, um, quite chunky. Right. Let me see what I think it's going to be. Okay, so it feels like um, uh, matches, a box of matches, but what would that be? Um, what normally comes, I don't actually know of any yeah. sewing haberdashery that it's comes in sort of a matchstick well. box. Yeah, it's like a matchstick box, right? No. Oh, it's pins. It's pins. That's probably maybe the tip on the inside of the box refers to what they've got inside as well. Pink tissue paper. It is. Two hundred extra fine is this a pins, I suppose. Is it, is Hard it, tempered pins. No, that's just and the little is that a sticker? See if it's a sticker. So you get two hundred extra fine pins, and they look very um. I've not seen that packaging before. It looks very vintage. Uh, and when I say vintage, it reminds me of something sort of my grandmother would have had back in the day. Um, and let me see what they are. What it says? Hard tempered pins. Yeah, it's a sticker. Oh, and you get like a little... Quite, oh, it's a black sticker with their sort of fabric. Oh, I just popped some more. Um, fabric Godmother logo there. A little sticker. Where can we put this? That could go in my label thing as well. And then these are hard tempered pins. To be honest, I've never used these before um, because I just prefer, it's just your normal, I prefer these ones. I prefer longer pins with more, um, uh, more bigger ends so you can see them, you know, quicker and you won't, it won't get lost in, in and about things. So I like sort of the, um, Hemline pins with the flower heads. They're the ones that I go for. Um, so I'm just putting them in the box. So, so that's that one. I can put that in my haberdashery thing over there. Thank you, my little helper. So that's the first day of the advent calendar boxes. So maybe I will rate the um, the gifts in order of um, what I like. So I think this time round. <clears throat> First place goes to Beyond the Pink Door with their, um, have you got it still? Yes. Beyond the Pink Door with their little rosy cheek sewing labels, which are these ones. So I got six of these, which is I think is an amazing for a first gift for the um, advent calendar. Six of these, pink, unique, really lovely and fun. Second place I think goes to Kylie and the Machines. I mean, they're lovely labels. They're a bit too simple. I think um, compared to what she you know the other things that she's done or the other tags that she's had on them but I mean they're lovely all the same and I will use those and then third place goes to Fabric Godmother for their pins I mean pins are very useful it's just that I have so many of them already and it's just um, not what I was expecting for a first um, for day one of an advent box um, with Fabric Mother Fabric Godmother being so hyped up and their boxes being gorgeous and actually the box is quite expensive it's the most expensive out of all three of them but anyhow I'm sure the rest of the gifts I mean obviously I, I'm aware that not all of the gifts can be high value items or um, you know really fun and unique so obviously there are going to be some items that are purely haberdashery which is fine because I will still use them it's just my opinion of day three of day one between the three boxes so there you go thank you very much Sienna. I will put these boxes away um, Sienna where can we put these maybe up at the top there and now going back to my normal vlogging um, 
to put it on top of the boxes now. Um, I wanted to share with you what my plans are for December. December obviously is going to be quite a busy month with children coming off school. And when I say school for me, it's home education um, and also with family and friends coming and going. Um, staying. Um, so we're in, in Norfolk, Cambridgeshire and we have lots of family in London and Walsingham and they'll be coming to stay um, over the festive period and we'll also be going to London over the festive period. So it's going to be quite busy in terms of um, coming and going and um, activities with the children. So my plans are aren't as um what's the word aren't as plentiful as they have been in the past so anyway i'll quickly go through them with you so plan number one is my blogger project for little miss so-and-so um i receive their luxury box um once a month and that includes the fabric um notions that sort of thing and a pattern um and this month i have chosen the leona um sweater by fiber mood it's this one here and it's basically a knit jumper and I'll show you the line drawings. It's a knit jumper. So you get one back piece, one front piece, one back piece um, and a sleeve. Then you get the cuffs, neck band and hem band. And it's basically, it's, it's a very 80s style. It's sort of like a bat wing um, shape, uh, very loose fitted. And um, this goes from an extra small to a triple XL bust of so this is unfortunately in centimeters so i'm just going to give you the centimeter ones um measurements uh bust of 119 it doesn't have a waist because it's oversized um all the way to a bust of 177 uh, centimeters um it's for knit as i say i've never used fiber mood before so i'm very excited to use that uh, so with regards to the fiber mood um patterns and um, they do come in the form of individual patterns on their website. So you can buy them individually on the website as PDF downloads. I'm not sure if you can buy them as um, if you can have them printed out on their website and sent to you as a package. I'm not too sure about that. But you can um, buy individual patterns, as I say. Also, they have their magazines that contain like sort of 17, 15 to 17 patterns per month. Um, and if you subscribe, you can subscribe to the magazine only in digital or in paper and you can all there's also an option to have the subscription of the um digital or paper magazine plus five pdf downloads that allow you to obviously um avoid the need to have to trace uh, the back of the magazine and um, so you get five pdf downloads and the pdf patterns do have seam allowances added onto it otherwise if you are tracing from the magazine then you'll have to add the seam allowance yourself so that's um the blogger project i have for little miss so and so um, and the fabric I chose um, was this lovely teal green glitter fabric. It, I think it's described as a sweatshirting, but it's actually, I guess it's a loop back. Or is that a sweatshirting? I'm not sure. It does look like loop backs. It's got the loops on it, um, but it is very, very soft. Uh, so it's either a brush back um, fleet, a, a brushed back french terry or a very light sweatshirt but it's lovely and cozy lovely and stretchy very festive and with the so luxurious box you get um between three and four meters of the fabric and it's luxury fabric so it's um this is 18 pounds a meter so we're talking lady McElroy, dashwood studios atelier brunette art gallery that sort of thing so it's amazing value so this fabric alone would be about 62 pounds i got about four meters of this it would be 62 pounds alone just for the fabric but i also got the pattern and i got the notions required to make the pattern for 65 pounds although i don't pay that full amount because i'm brand ambassador so that's my first project for december the second thing I plan to make is a Nina Lee Bakerloo dress for my daughter Sienna, right Sienna? And where's the fabric I was going to make? Oh yeah, so uh, the Nina Lee Bakerloo dress, I have made this just once before. <laughs> You're going to show it's okay. Um, so it's the Bakerloo dress by Nina Lee. So you have the blouse version, which is... Um, well, it's the blouse version and then you have the dress version and they're the two variations and so the main design feature of this dress is this big collar with a ruffle um, on the edge so you get bust darts elasticated um, cuffs gathered skirt um, center back seam and it's just like a, um, a rouleau loop and button to fasten um this comes in uk sizes 6 to 20 um you can get a blouse you can have a blouse if you want um uk 6 to 20 so size 6 bust of 32 waist of 24 all the way up to a size 20 bust of 46 waist of 38 
<clears throat> I have made this before. So the one I made, I made in a size 14, although, because I have put on a bit of weight recently, although it is a bit big, so I could go down to a size 12. And my daughter's probably going to be a 12 or a 10. So I'll go in that, um, I'll go for that. They're the same, oh yeah. So this is the same, this is the front version, this is the back. And the fabric we have chosen, Sienna, is what? Oh yeah, so it's kind of a Christmassy dress, so it's obviously, well it is kind of, it's your typical red tartan, um, and this is just a cotton uh, from, where was this from, Pound Fabrics, um, so it's a lovely tartan, and I'm going to do the whole dress in the tartan, but the frill I'm going to do in plain black viscose to make that stand out. As I say, I have made this before, and I think all the alter, all the, I'm going to follow the pattern to a T. Apart from the fact that instead of doing, um, I, instead of doing the fastening for the back of the of the dress, I'm going to do a rulo loop instead, and also the collar. I am going to narrow down the collar um, around the outer edge. The inner edges I'm going to leave, otherwise the ruffle won't meet in the middle. So I'm going to decrease sort of the, the width of this collar all the way around, just so it's a slightly bit narrower. And apart from that, everything will be the same. So very much looking forward to that. So that's in that fabric from Pound Fabrics. And it's actually sort of green navy check in there as well. Um, and that's for Sienna, isn't it Sienna? Yeah. So that's project number two. Ah, project number three is the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra, which I have made numerous times before. It's actually my favourite go-to shirt pattern. And um, did we find the envelope for this, my love? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, this goes from a size UK 6, bust of 30, waist of 24, all the way up to a UK 24, bust of 48, waist of 42. Uh, it also all goes all the way up to a size 30. Um, so you'd have to buy that as a separate. So you have the, I think it's 6 to 24 as the first sort of sizing range. And then maybe 18 to 30 is the next one. So it does um, have an extended size range. Um, Lyra line drawing. So basically the, the variations are just a short version or the tiered version. And then short sleeves or long sleeves. Uh, long sle sleeves has a gathered cuff. Uh, you've got bust darts, front button placket, um, collar with collar stand. It has a waist tie if you want. Obviously, the sleeves can be lengthened or shortened as you please. The the uh, skirt layers, you can mix and match and, you know, sort of um, play around with the widths of that. Um, and I quite like it because it's a shirt dress. It's not too loose and it's not too um, fitted, which I like. And you can wear it loose or you can wear it with a tie so you can have different looks. And I'm very much looking forward to making that for my daughter. And the fabric I've chosen for her, daughter. this is for my eldest daughter, Talia, is tartan again. And this is from Pound Fabrics again, but sort of this green and blue colorway. And th I've already cut this out, actually. So this is actually the pocket uh, for the Lyra pattern. And actually this Lyra pattern uh, pocket piece uh, and the instructions for adding the pockets are sort of my go-to instructions and pocket pattern piece um, and so for most um, patterns that do require a pocket instead of using the pocket for that particular pattern I go, I go to the Lyra only because the size is perfect the height of the pocket placement is perfect I love how it tells you to under stitch um, and it's just my favorite pocket piece um, so that's that one so that's the Lyra for my eldest daughter and then with both of those fabrics I did buy um, five meters so three meters for sort of uh, ad adult teenage dress and then two meters sort of for, for my younger daughter um, dress my younger daughter being my seven-year-old now because um, the um, both of those are checks and I have played around with um, sort of the bodice I have done on the bias and the skirt I have done the first tier normal and then the second tier on the bias uh, for both the Bakerloo and the Lyra. I didn't have uh, two meters extra because obviously cutting on the bias takes up more takes up more space um, on, on the fabric. And so I only have enough for my 18 month old daughter, Ava. So she will be getting um, two Be Curious dresses out of, so one out of this fabric 
and one out of the tartan fabric um so when my daughters were little i loved uh, to um dress them all up in matching in matching dresses they don't like to do that anymore <laughs> so i have had to promise that if i make matching dresses they don't that they won't wear it on the same day which is perfectly fine by me so i'm making the be curious dress for my 18 month old <coughs> And the Be Curious dress is Ellie and Mac Be Curious, 12 months to um, uh, 12 years. Uh, my favourite go-to pattern for children. Um, you've got the short sleeve, the long sleeves, which you can adjust to three quarters or short. You've got like the flutter sleeve. It's a lined bodice. And then you've got a uh, sort of a big skirt and a ruffle, which again, the ruffles and the skirts and the widths you can play around with. The sleeve length you can play around with as well. And it's a button back. Very, very simple to follow, easy instructions, and I just love how it turns out. I think I've made this about four or five times already. So that would be that would be for my 18-month-old daughter. And then last but not least, so that's Bakerloo for Sienna, Lyra for Talia, Be Curious times two for Ava. Um, so that's kind of three, three, four items. And then the last thing I wanted to make was this, not yet. The Tilly and the Buttons Tabitha drawstring dress for sienna again isn't it sienna yeah. so tibitha tibitha so the drawstring dress is from tilly and the buttons um what is this book called make it simple make it simple dress again i've made this pattern a few times and it's basically the tabitha t-shirt dress um and then uh, so this is the Tabitha drawstring dress so basically it's the t-shirt pattern that they have uh, variations short sleeve three quarter length sleeves long sleeves and then it gives you instructions here of how to draft your own skirt piece and then join the two together with the seam allowance being folded over to create your casing for your drawstring and um, size wise it goes from uh, so obviously the skirt is um made to measure uh, but in terms of the top, the T-shirt, it goes from a UK size 6 to a UK 24. UK 6 being bust of 30, waist of 24. UK 24 being bust of 48, waist of 42. Again, um, I'm not sure actually if the patterns in the book are in extended sizes because you can't buy the patterns individually apart from the book. So I'm not sure about that. But um, I love this T-shirt pattern because it's not too fitted and it's not too loose. It's just perfect for me. So that's great. And the fabric I'm going to choose that I've chosen for this is this lovely fabric here. Let's just put it up close. It's like a soft. Let's double it up because the light's going in. It's like a soft rose pink with little grids on it and it's from um i bought this from lush cloth in their summer sale and it's is it from poppy does it say anything on it my it's on the bottom, you <laughs> oh it doesn't have a does it have a thing i think it's from poppy yeah, but i'm not sure so i have bought this and it's a lovely quality cotton jersey um stretchy but not too thin not too thick and then the ribbing to sienna matching ribbing And this sort of bugs me, like I can't when I can't find the exact matching ribbing, but my daughter said she's happy with with this pink to go with this. So that will be for the neckband. And also I'm going to put cuffs instead of the just the hemmed um cotton jersey because well we quite like that. And this fabric I have already actually got in oh. this colourway here. So that's the pink colorway and this is sort of the brick terracotta colorway and sienna oh, actually has a tabitha drawstring dress in this but a short sleeve version for the summer so that's for sienna so sienna gets two dresses this month it's me, you went to one long sleeve. yeah long sleeve one tali gets one dress and ava gets two dresses nothing for anya so far but i may have time to squeeze out a dress for her um because i've got quite a bit of fabric but in terms of um sort of secure plans that's what i'm planning to do for the month of december and that's it i'm not going to do any other sewing chit chat or chit chat about the family this time because this one is quite long i think it's 28 minutes long is it 28 minutes by yes. eyesight's yes. bad um so that will be it from me from us from today for today and i will see you again tomorrow december the 2nd for the day two of the advent calendars and um more chit chat about the family hopefully thank you so much for watching um and in the meantime We'll see you again tomorrow, hopefully. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Bye.